back the drought. Oh, oh, the person with you. They enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. Did you see how far that water threw me? Greetings, citizen Fluffington. I trust you are enjoying. Worms rocks off limits. You got a problem? See Ellen there. You want past? Talk to Ellen. As you were, citizen. Sorry, chum, can't let you through. Worms Rock's closed for the day. <laughs> Not closed to Duke Older Raven Guard's own son, surely. You having a laugh, devil boy? I oh, know Raven Guard, and last I knew, his spawn wasn't sporting those horns. The joke's on you. No entry. That's the end of it. Look, the posh salt. Last door on the right. Go on. Make merry. Lower the gates. Special permission. The city fell under Gorta. Halt! We do not know how you gained entry, but your trespass shall not be punished. Lord Gortash has been expecting you. The Watcher's presence fades, but another takes its place, confident, dominant, commanding. My most esteemed guests, we meet at last. I am Lord Enver Gortash. You are the prison bearer Slayer of the dread General Kethrick Thorn. I welcome you to Baldur's Gate, my city. Of course, of course. My seal watchers are rather adept at keeping the peace, but not entirely suitable for polite conversation. Allow me to formally invite you to my inauguration. Make your way to the ceremonial hall. Gortash. We shouldn't have any more trouble from the guards. Absolute's army won't be causing trouble for Gortash. Or for us. Uh, I'm not sure I believe her. <laughs> but does it really matter? Meaning? Meaning that in the games of generals and dukes, we're not even pawns, just dust on the board. What happens next is out of our hands. You hear? My lady says Absolute's army is on the march. There's watchers. We'll hold the line. You best believe. Cult army on the march, killer on the loose, and Mistress Dorenbold still drags me hither and thither.
Head up, chest out. Lord Portier could descend any moment. Have you seen? Lord, Archduke, God. <laughs> I'll call God Hash what he wants. As long as Lord Chatshield pays me for all this waiting around. Ruff's babbling, no time to talk. Lord Gortash is expecting you. Please make your way to the... Sorry, sorry, these dukes are working me to the bone. Hush. Patriots are upstairs. Lord Janeth could call for me at any moment. Isn't little Will straight to your handler? And I didn't even have to whistle. Mizora, I've had enough. You owe your life to me. Time to end the pact. Feeling cheeky, are we? Most unbecoming. Heard about your father. The Absolute's puppet. A damned travesty, if you ask me. He's upstairs in Worm's Rock, ordaining Gortash as Archduke. A splendid party, I hear. Perfect for crashing. Go on up. We'll talk after. Look, I'm all for Gortash, but those clankers, they don't sit right with me. Because they do your job better than you and without complaining. It is unnerving. Imagine where we'd be without them. The city would be overrun. They're all that's keeping this cult at bay. He has a point. They make people feel safe, if nothing else. Ha! You idiots! Tell my friends how safe you feel with those metal giants stamping about. to kill the mood. God's not. You sure can pick him. Lady Arlia says jump, and I jump. That's the way of things. Lord Shattershield says Gortash won't be letting outsiders in. Good thinking, you ask me. Master Porter, I've taken the liberty of... Oh, you are not the master. Just as well. Gortash a visit. A fate to remember, I guarantee. <sighs> big day, big day. Can hardly contain myself. Duke of Baldur's Gate. <laughs> Never thought I'd live to see the day. Come 
tempers are rising. It's clear not everything you find is at your disposal. No distractions, please. Please, not now. I don't like the look of this Gartash fellow, but don't you tell him I said that. Silence! I don't want to miss a single word. Do mind your manners. A proud day for the Flaming Fist, and for all of Baldur's Gate. I beg your pardon, but have some decorum. Stand down, villain. In the name of the Steel Watch, aggressive action will not be tolerated in the presence of the patriarchs of this proud city. The Steel Watch, appreciate your cooperation, citizen. Dearest patriarchs, dearest Raven Guard, but a moment. The Blade of Frontiers graces our halls, and he's wearing his devilish best. My father, he's here. My friend, forgive the cold welcome. My steel watchers are eager watchdogs, for the good of the people, I'm sure you understand. Lord Enver Gortash at your service. I understand congratulations are in order. Thorm's defeat hasn't gone unnoticed. You're known for who you are and for that nether stone that you carry. You know, it takes all three to control the brain. Without Thorms, it's become vexingly willful. The quakes are a clear warning. If nobody steps in soon, it'll free itself from the authority of the crown. I expect it'll start with turning the sword coasts infected. You among them. A prism of yours won't last indefinitely. Next, the grand design. The Mind Flayer Empire reborn. If we're lucky, we'll become slaves. If we're unlucky, well, not the most thrilling of prospects, but it's a fate that can be avoided if you and I come to an understanding. Together, we can still restore authority over the brain. Of course. Gortash always did have an eye for opportunity. It's not, but it will not follow new orders unless the Netherstones are united to give the command. When it finishes executing its current orders, it will be free to do as it wishes. That will be bad for everyone. Once it is freed from its shackles, I doubt we'll ever be able to bring it under control again. There's an old wisdom. A brittle alliance can never be mended. It can only break. With Ketherick gone, Orin proved treacherous. Baal's chosen wants the Neverstones for herself. She only cares for blood. 
And your blood and mine are of particular interest to her. Orin changes shape faster than you and I change clothes. You know. She's tricked you before. She's targeted me as well. I'm well protected, but she's extremely good at what she does. If Orin obtains all three nether stones, she'll plunge the coast into chaos and paint the city in blood. I can't let that happen. I want to lead this city to glory, not scorch its earth. I'd like to propose a pact, a divine oath sworn upon spirit and flesh. I do no harm to you, nor you to me. Furthermore, you'll have nothing to fear from my steel watch while our pact stands. Thorm's stone is yours to keep. When you slay Orin and take her stone, you bring it here, so the three are united once again. Together we rule Faerun as kings. No, more than kings. Gods, we rule as the absolute. And my father? Your father will do whatever you command him to, like any other subject in our kingdom. What do you say? Shall we be allies? I can detect no deceit. This alliance could serve us well. And if it does not, well... We need not honor it. An ally could be useful, at least for now. And when he's no longer useful, well, we can dispose of him then. Gortash's eyes blink in a consistent rhythm. He stands calmly, confidently. He fully intends to share his kingdom with you. Perhaps a demonstration of why you need my help will motivate you to make the right decision. Your camp is compromised. One among you is an imposter, a faceless. Who, I can't say. I'd suggest a thorough investigation. You'll find I speak the truth. A doppelganger in our camp. That sounds all too believable. The faceless in your camp is like a knife at your throat. Remove it quickly, or any alliance between us would be exceedingly short-lived. Even horror has a home. Find her nest and slay her there. For all its charms, Baldur's Gate has long had a cancer at its heart. A hidden temple devoted to Baal. That's where Orin became what she is, where she worshipped and schemed. And now, it's where she hides from my watchers, when she's not spilling blood in the streets. You're resourceful. I trust you'll sniff it out. If the trail goes cold, follow the bodies. First, Orin the Red, bloody dagger of Baal, causes panic in the streets through killings in the Absolute's name. Next, the threat of the Absolute's monstrous armies formed by Merkel's general, Ketherick Thor. In such circumstances, people crave strong leaders. 
Leaders that bring law, order, and protection. Leaders like me, Bane's unyielding hand, author of justice. You are soon to witness the people of Baldur's Gate granting me complete power over them, all out of fear of the absolute. Next, I, we, will declare curfew and begin infecting the masses. Our subjects will hear the voice of their absolute god. The faithful will do anything in the name of their god. Powerful connections. Let's leave it at that. Soon. First, come and be witness as I make history. The first Archduke of Baldur's Gate. You will follow me, and you will show due respect. Distinguished dukes, patriarchs, dearest Raven Guard, I will heed your call. A new chapter begins. Enver Gortash. Swearest thou by Baldurin's blade to defend the citizens of Baldur's Gate from enemies within and without? I swear. Swearest thou true faith and fealty to the same by word, deed, and decree so that none may suffer? I swear. Gathered guests, grant ye consent. Enver Gortash, the council appoints you Archduke of Baldur's Gate. My friends, the Steel Watch stands ready. Let its blade fall on any who would diminish our city. And you, honored guest, will find me in my office above when you return. Do not come empty-handed. Unthinkable. To see my own father named Gortash, the sole ruler of Baldur's Gate. Please, we need to speak with him. Maybe, maybe he can see reason. So, we have a uh, shape changer at our camp. Hmm. Good luck finding her. Huh? You could watch out for anyone acting strangely, but... Well, you know the lunatics we camp with. An imposter in our ranks. If this is true, it could be anyone. You, me... Well, not me, I know who I am. Perhaps we shouldn't take Gortash's word for granted. But if he speaks the truth, we need to be careful. Orin could have eyes and ears on us right now. Finally! A leader with some charisma! Ravenguard was quite the dullard. Archduke Gortash. 
Now there's a man who knows good business. Archduke Gortash, man of the people. The right people. An Archduke! Finally someone who can stand up to those wretched absolutists. What glory, our city. And what glory, its future. Ravengard has not once failed this city. If he trusts Gortash, then so do I. The Steel Watch has made an impenetrable fortress out of the Sword Coast Crown Jewel. I can't think of a better endorsement for Gortash than that. Truest of souls, bathed in her light. There is a fleeting connection. Your parasite communes with his, then falls quiet. Father, my dearest boy, the hells have touched you. But you've come to me just as Gortas said you would. A true soul, no less. Father and son, unstoppable generals. You and your allies will usher in a new dawn. Help me. Ah, the Black Widow caught you in her web. Floric chose shadow over light. Her betrayal burned deeper than the fires of Avernus. She's been punished for her lies. Don't let her get to you. When he says punished, do you think he means locked up or brutally murdered? I stilled her tongue. That's the end of the matter. The sun rises, true soul. Are you ready? What is a hero, if not an actor for the greater good? Faerun suffers in darkness. Tyr has abandoned us. Helm's eye has strayed. But Baldur's Gate will soon burn bright, a beacon to light the heavens. Gortash and I will ignite the final spark, and that, true soul, is the greatest of goods. No. This isn't him. This is the tadpole talking. For a brief moment, uncertainty clouds his mind, then dissipates. The astral prism vibrates in concord. What nonsense is this? I... The prism quivers once more. Raven Guard falters. As I said, Baldur's Gate will ascend. Toril's first and only grand city. Have we finished, then? My purse is my... Good day to you. Incredible. To hear my father's voice speak those words. Like a stranger wrapped in his flesh. I won't let the Absolute keep him. This is my pledge. Will 
you take up arms if the walls are breached? Of course, it is the duty of a patriarch to defend the citizens of Baldur's Gate with his life, if need. Although it's been some years since I last donned my armor, may need some minor adjustments around the waist. Finally, a leader worthy of this city. Thank the living gods, Gortash is here to protect us. My cousin... Archduke, quite something, don't you think? I dare say Borderang himself would approve. The quest was denied. Right tool will do the trick.
Mm-hmm. Under Gortash, we're safe. More to the point, my fortunes are safe. I've been cut fresh from the wheel. The Absolute's blight will be a hard one to cure. Gortash is the Archduke for the job. The city is only as strong as its walls. Gortash understands this. Today, my lady. Ugh, the most grievous error. In that, I am at my lady's service and hers alone. I so fancy a glass of dragon juice. Fetch me a bottle and be quick about it. At once, my lady. Would you? Bring it at once. something. Must be exhausted. Not as exhausted as all that boot kissing you've been doing. Baldur's Gate ship captain Morgan Redlock's wed a man thrice her age. After the wedding, the groom suffered a heart attack. Redlocks converted his merchant ships into a pirate fleet. First of the Bormal Patriarch family to start his own venture, Alec is the unscrupulous bastard who made their fortune in mines and vineyards. Carrick started from nothing, built a financial empire and founded the counting house. He refused to mingle with the other patriarchs, saying, they didn't want me when I was an urchin, and now they can't have me. This is a bust of the god Bane as he first appeared to Gortash in dreams, and was then described to a Rivington sculptor. Dame Maffrey, the orphan's friend, founded several orphanages in the outer city, as the lower city was no place for children, and the upper city declined to sponsor an orphanage. Founder of the Flaming Fist, later history is kinder to him than accounts from his time, 
which portray him as a cruel and hard-handed mercenary commander. Did I tell you? A momentous occasion. I'm sure you agree. I've had enough, Mizora. What do you want? Your attention, little pup. Nothing more. And you'll be glad to give it. You see, Gortash has had your father relocated. I'm just an impartial observer. This is Gortash's game. A murderous one, the way I hear it. Shit. Your dad's good as dead, pup. And to think there's no way to save him. Or is there? You know something. I know enough. I'll be in your camp. If you want to work something out. Of course she'd stick her infernal nose where it doesn't belong. Of course she's dreamt up some risible scheme. By all the hounds of the hells, what is she planning?
couldn't even fathom a guess. Though, I doubt we'll need to wait long for answers. Let's make camp when we're able. Mazora will be waiting. Until then, may my father keep safe, whatever coop he's been flown to. Best behavior around here. Understood? Don't cause any trouble, all right? It's not worth it. My friend means to say is that the wasn't you. Have been mistaken. Calm down, dear. It won't Better. happen, I swear. I almost believed you this time. Oh, I can't really glaze that pig's here. He wasn't even hurt. That's why nothing's gonna happen to us. We'll tell them what happened, and we'll be home in no time. Let's rehearse this one more time. Pretend I'm a fist. And tell me what you would do. You've been seeing that for ages. Who are still here? Well, what are they waiting for? Have you heard anything about what it's like in the prisons? <laughs> Actually, don't tell me. I don't want to know. Are they going to arrest us? Fire. It's a waiting that's hard. If we could just talk to one of the fists, it would be as clear as day that we're not criminals. My friend needs to, to say that us? the witness must have been... What if they throw us in? I ain't saying nothing to nobody until I've had my trial. I swear. Oh, leave it out. I've got a trial coming up, and I need to rememberize my lines. No time to talk. I have clients to brief, and they're as sharp as spoons. The people used to respect the fist. No, no, dear. This is the armory, not a bloody open house. Fists only. Now clear off. Trade. Do I look like a shopkeeper? This equipment isn't for sale. It belongs to the flaming fist. The flaming fist don't stand for trouble. So stay out of it, yeah? doing in here you notice the gnome slip a lockpick into his pocket you're not a fist go on get out or i'll i'll wake the others
I'm no thief. I... I was going to pay it back. Eventually. I just... I needed the gold. I'm getting out of here. Taking a ferry down the coast to get me home. Those bloody crooks at the docks are charging triple, though. Danger money. It's a joke. Not by boat. It's the army marching towards us that makes things dangerous. My wife said we have to stand and fight, and... And I can't. I won't. I'm not made for this. I'm not a soldier. I only joined for the uniform and a warm bed. They're better off without me. I'm scared. All I want is to go home. the house before the fire started. Calm down, dear. It won't happen. What friend means to say is that the witness must have been a mistake. is fast asleep. Read in a ten day. Eat all the onions. Three balls of the stew. What now? <gasps> Goodness, how embarrassing. I had a heavy lunch. Welcome to Worms Rock Prison, the fifth nail we jail. What's your business? Your father? Hmm. Not much of a family resemblance. Well... Second cell on the right. And you tell him, no seconds for supper. This here's a prison, not an inn. Hang on, I'll let you through. Well, in you go. And don't feed the prisoners. Make some cocky. On your way. May Lord Gortash provide. Huh? I'm not paid to chat. Stay on my good side, yeah?
You're too late. It's over. By Avernus. Floric. The Steel Watch happened. I came seeking allies to our cause. Watchers spotted me. Dragged me to Alder Ravenguard's husk. Empty as a stair. Your father's a tadpole's puppet, Will. Nothing more. He spoke in accusations. Apostasy. Conspiracy. Sedition. I'll be executed in five dawns. The hell's with that. Nothing is over. Not while I still draw breath. When the people need a miracle, you cannot wait for the gods to answer. Father's words. Indeed. To think I'd almost forgotten. No more sulking. I know what to do. And I can only do it with the help of the blade. Unlock my cell. Escort me out of Worm's Rock. I'll seek out my connections. When the city streets shatter, you'll want their blades. Hurry. Hmm. What do you want? I don't need to escape. I've got food, water, privacy, and I mean to keep it that way. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Something's on my mind. Oh, for Balderan's sake, leave an old man in peace. This is far enough. The way should be clear. 
I can't thank you enough for getting me out of that damned prison and for giving me courage when I'd all but run out. It's the least we could do. Your faith in this city should inspire us all. I will travel to the upper city. Find what allies I can. You won't fight the coming battle alone. As long as the city stands, I will stand with it. This is my promise. Pride of the gate. Trap. What a day. No time to rest. fishing spot. Spent more than a few summertide days here. Is that so? Did you manage to catch anything? <laughs> Only a few head colds and a tongue lashing from my worried father.
I'm way too big. Miss Zora, I'd take anything she says with a grain of salt. But with her claws as deep in our business as they are, I guess we can't ignore her completely. I had no wish to lose Will, but my, it would have been nice to flush her into the colony's flesh pit. There might be, but it's not a path I dread until we must. Let it wait until the city proper. Perhaps I'll have had a better idea by then. I don't relish the idea of Mizora visiting our camp, let alone offering us anything resembling a <laughs> deal. When the devils start approaching you, you know you're in deep. Mizora schemes with Will's very freedom. He deserves to know what she is up to. Whatever business Will has with Mazora, it will cost him dearly. Or worse still, it will cost us. I hope we can afford it. Will ought to know what happened with Mazora. Whatever she has in store for him can't be good. Devil will come for her due. Mizora is no different. 
Whatever it is she comes to offer, whatever choice Will makes, someone will suffer. Count on it. Testament. No tomb sit in Beator. No tomb sit in Beator. Holy hells. I come to bargain. The Hells demand witness. Enough, Mizora. Where is my father? How do I save him? How else we bargain? Sisters. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Contract, Will. Signed in blood, forged in fire, bound in bone, but not unbreakable. A life for a life. No contract is ended without sacrifice. The cost must be paid. Raven Guard, a choice is before you. Option one, I show you the way to your father. I guarantee him no harm except that from you and your allies. And you pledge your soul to me and the Archdevil Zariel in a pact eternal. Option two, I break your pact and you are freed from your duty. Your father dies by his enemy's hand, and Baldur's Gate loses its greatest champion. Name your sacrifice. Bloody Zariel! I won't let her take Will! Silence, Karlak! Mizora! You asshole! Choose! Damned wretch! Father... Do it. Break the pact. Fiat Ita. Fiat Ita. Anima ad beator. Didn't 
think you had it in you. <laughs> Seems my boy's all grown up. <laughs> and don't go fussing about your father. You made your choice. You knew the terms. You know what? I think I'll stick around. Not for the greater good, you understand. Just for the entertainment. Gods, I spent seven years choked by Mazora's leash. And I spent seven years hoping to break free. I never knew freedom could taste so bittersweet. I have to believe that. I'm not the Hell's puppet in life, nor its warrior in death. The blade will be guiding his own hand. But freedom will be paid in my father's blood. Tomorrow, I celebrate my gain. Today, I mourn my loss. A moment passes. In the stillness, you find a mote of tranquility. The Raven God name now lives solely with me. I will make it count for something. I signed his life away before the Hell's witnesses. It would be easier to drink the sticks down to the last drop than to alter his fate. I'd be a fool to wish otherwise. We obtain the final two nether stones and take back our minds and the city from the brain. Little Will's all grown up. I can't wait to see what trouble he gets into. Impossible. My bargain was uncommonly reasonable. A single soul for the return of Baldur's Gate's most beloved duke. A real bargain, I should think. I never thought the legendary Blade of Frontiers would surrender his father for freedom. Not very valorous, if you ask me. But what does a mean old devil like me know about heroes? The Absolutists worked a number on me at Moonrise. And you're the best hope I've got at payback. No one crosses the Hell's children without getting scorched. Correct. I didn't. If you must know, I was scouting the cultists on behalf of Zariel. But those cursed shadows were thick enough to fell even a half-fiend. I woke in that damned pod. It kept my body sealed and my most powerful magic silenced. But a brave, kind, benevolent soul set me free. Gallantry isn't dead after all. Oh, you are an inquisitive one. I'd have thought you'd figured by now. Zariel found a new use for an old battle axe. The dead three in that bulging brain of theirs are a threat to more than this trifling city, you know. Savor her company. Who's to say when Zariel might change her mind? My mistress can be so capricious.
The nine hells of Beator. Each its own domain, each with its own archdevil to rule it. I call the first hell my home, Avernus. My mistress Zariel's realm, a torrid battleground split by the bloody waters of the Styx. How I adore it, the delicious agony of it all. The other eight, well, they are pleasures unto themselves. Perhaps I'll show you myself, if I deem you worthy. Why? I'm supplying Will with every scrap of his infernal power. I've paid my dues many times over. I tell you what, when the time comes to squish that big baddie of a brain, I'll lend you a hand. Will sacrificed his own father. Time and again, Will's plight reinforces my decision not to pursue the path of a warlock. It's one thing to make such a sacrifice in the pursuit of such a pack, but to do so in order to escape one. Truly. It leaves you with nothing. Will sacrificed his own father. A hard choice, but not one that is unknown in nature. At times a seedling must strangle the very tree that bore it, if it's to survive. I've been unfair to you. I've had unrealistic expectations of your character ever since I joined you. But, honestly, you've surpassed even those. It seems my faith was more than well-founded. Keeping very well, I hope? Come to bask in the glow of the Moon Maiden's sword? Be most welcome. gave up his father to have freedom. Hmm. An understandable decision. Sacrifices must be made after all. Especially if the old Duke's fall means his rise. Well met. Are you sure? The blade stands at the ready. And just when things were warming up. Hey, soldier. Fuck yes. I did not know Duke Ravenguard that well. But I am sure he would not want his son to become slave to Zariel for his sake. I am sure Will knows that. But we would do well to remind him, when his days grow dark. Hope. The very hook from which these devils try to hang us. I have no answers. For you, or for Will. If Mizora means to linger with us, I mean to find out if devils do indeed sleep. And just how heavily. Chuck. The devil Mizora's made herself quite at home, hasn't she? Do make her feel as unwelcome as you can.